Hello, YouTube friends. Welcome to the Red Parrot channel. I am your host, Mary Ellen. This is an episode of Faf With Me, which is a, a new recurring series. Uh, if you are from the UK, uh, perhaps Australia, maybe New Zealand, you know what Faf is. If you are from the States or potentially other places in Canada, you don't know what a Faf is. A Faf is something that is... Um, what is it like Toad said, uh, messing about in boats, there's nothing more joyful. Faffing is um, just enjoying yourself, puttering around, bits and pieces. It's not efficient, but it is full of joy and interest and all that kind of stuff. So it is, it's not a bad word. Um, and it means something very specific and it's that kind of, um, like I say, that, that joyful, just puttering around kind of, um, effort. So first episode, faff with me. I shall show you what we're going to faff around with. Oops. Here we are. So, uh, looks like a, an ordinary everyday signature, Nothing much going on. Let us turn the page. Ta-da. So we have created a flip out. So it goes back and forward, back, forward, back, forward. I, it is a peacock. Um, and uh, Shell at Shell's Creative Chaos is making a peacock journal. And this popped to my mind. This is not my work. Uh, it's not my job to, to do this, but it's like, oh yeah, you know what? You could do a thing. And she said, well, what thing is that? And so I said, okay, I need to show you because I can't describe it. So if you want to Google, this is called a uh, pop-up paper craft. Um, you need to include the word paper with the pop-up because pop-up also has a um, a digital ad meaning to it as well. And there's a whole lot of programming that you don't want. You want something that is paper. So isn't that great? I just love that as a, as a centerfold. So we are going to make, um, we're going to make one of these, we think. And I say we. So let us first off get... Oops, crash bang. So this is going to be the center signature or the center on which we are going to pop things up. And I'm going to make some lines and some um, uh, marks that will hopefully make it more visible to you. And obviously when you're making the signature for reels or you're doing it for reels, you don't have to do that. Like I say, this is just for me being able to communicate to you positions. And we're doing all of the boarding house reaches right off the hop. Um, here. It is beautiful out today. It's about 12, 13 degrees at the moment. Just gorgeous. The Jays lost last night. We will speak no more of that. Seriously. I need a new sport. So we've got that. So I have just indicated the center line. And that is an important um, point in this um, make. So we've got our signature. Now we need to put our little flippy thing in. So, what do we want to flip? Let us take a couple of pages of Nancy. That would be fine. And what do we want to do? So, if you had an image um, do I have any, oh, you know what, let me, would that work? I'm not sure, I'm reaching. Yeah, 
So we won't use this, but let's say that's the image that you want to have as the pop-up. You can use a pre-printed image and then just use the, the fussy cutting around it. Um, oh, here's something we might do that's fun. I have a scrap. I have a bee scrap. Let's try this. So let us say we want to have the bee pop-up. We're going to lose a little bit on the bottom and that's going to be okay. This is for illustration purposes only. So, first thing you need to do is have the bottom folded. So, you're going to create some... No, you don't. Fold it this way. There we are. You fold it in half first. Okay, we're already off on a tangent. So you need it folded. Then folding the bottom is the important part. Now let me sort of think about what I've done here. Think about what you've done. So, um, just doing some illustrations again for you. So that, let's say, is 90 degrees. That's uh, right off the bottom. You don't want to do that. You want to do an angle. If you do a severe angle, this pop-up won't pop up very high. So you have to do sort of a an angle kind of like that. Then you fold on set angle, and then you kind of work it, as we always do. Uh, where my scissors go? Here. So what you want to do then is cut off your extra, and just like when we are preparing pockets, we do the corner trim. There we are. Now we sort of worked that and what we want to be able to do then is open this back up and fold these over like that. Now I'm going to do another mark that you don't have to do, but this is just so that you can see. That's the center fold and you want to line up your center folds with your center folds and then just do the gluing. It's probably easier to glue one. I don't think that's going to fold all the way. No, no. How do you do this? How do you do this? How did I do it? This is why it's called faffing. That's probably the way to glue it. Nope. That's the way to glue it. Nope. Let us put some glue on and we will tear it off if it doesn't work. I never said this was a tutorial. It doesn't need to. Okay. So that's, so I've lined up my line with my line and I want this to sort of pop up. do that why can't I okay let's do that so there we are then I think you can put this however you want the pop-up to pop there we are and then and fold it down and then, when the glue is properly done, we have something that pops up. Oh, glue. There. So let's do another one on this, because I think one of the things that I was thinking about last night, 
after I finished that one, was you can do multiple on the same page, which really, be, which is we are now getting to literally what pop pop books do, because when you pop, when you open the page like this, everything moves and shifts and so on and so forth, and you have multiple things that are set up on the paper. So um, now we can use an Nancy one. Here, what do we want to do? Um, let's do, because anything worth doing is worth open. So we've got to fold it first. That gives us our center point. And again, I'm just going to draw it so that we can keep track. And you can see it much easier. Let's say, mm. so I am essentially trying to draw a beehive. 3D is not my strong suit, but that's okay. I think you kind of get what I mean. And then let us do some flowers. Anything worth doing is worth overdoing. We know this by now. We're gonna lose some of that because we have to do a cutoff. Okay, so I am now going to fussy cut out yes, yes, I'm going to fussy cut this out, I think. I may have gone that a little bit too low, but that's okay. As I say, this is an episode of faffing. This is not a tutorial. This is not a serious work. This is just messing about in boats. And again, we would have the straight line. Let's do it on the back. We'd have the straight line. Oh. Straight line is going to be that. And then this is the fold. So it needs to be... Fold has the low point. The... Um, where the two flaps meet is the higher point. So that's going to be where we fold. There we are. Second verse is going to be same as our first, we think. Oops. There we are. There's lots of uh, Pinterest things, and there's lots of YouTube tutorials, and so on and so forth. So I am not uh, at all the originator of any of this. I am simply... Here to provide entertainment and possibly a little bit of information. I'm not sure. So then we do that and then we do that. And then, so how, okay, so the one needs to go down and I want it to be, so I need to, Level it like that, but a little bit of perspective there. And then, like we could totally change the angle and have that pop up much more. So I think that's probably the easiest way to do that. 
glue this down in the end state that you want the page to be in. So we've got that. Then this is sort of under popped, if that is a thing. Now I just stand up to see if you can see. Uh, all you see is that, okay. So I need to move it so I can show you. Do we want to fold? Let's get here. So I need to do it on the angle like this so you can see the popping up. There we are. And you can see that here is the hive. And then there's the, the bee. Or you can just do one large one and have it pop up. So it works like that. Which is kind of fun. I don't know when I will use this. Okay, and so that fold has shifted because these aren't um, equal. I don't think, or I just mashed it. Yeah, it'll be fine. You get the idea. Have a faff, play around. I think this is all for now because this has communicated what I wanted to communicate, the general rudimentary, how to create something that is animated and then pops up. And this is for a signature, but you could also think about these as small journal cards. Um, you could do something that is, you know, much smaller and then have a uh, journal card pop up. I wonder if we could do that with this one. Let's trim this one down and see what that would look like. So it's going to be about there. there and then where's the edge the edge is about there okay that's gonna be a big journal card and of course I'm doing that in complete reverse order in terms of creating the card after I've got the pop-up you want to sort of create the card and then have some pop-up to fit so let us say then that you have That is a pocket somewhere in it. You know, yeah, it actually is because this is the size of a journal page. Like that, take up the journal card, and then you would do that. That is super fun. I really like that. So there we are, my first faff. My first faff in the books. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you try it out and what kind of fun things would lend themselves to up popping. This is supposed to be a peacock that I drew and the peacock has that beautiful fan that that was the whole point of the um why I thought that would be great because that is a very peacock that's what I associate with peacocks when they just they put that whole um fan of feathers behind them and that would be f fun for a journal. Um, but like I say, let me know in the comments uh, what else you would use this method on if you had the chance. And if there's a couple of suggestions, I might try them out. Who knows? Because we need to do some more faffing. I think faffing is um, certainly in my future. Anyways, that is all for now. As ever, thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate your company. I love being able to talk to you and have... Uh, somebody to play around with. It's um, just a gift for me. Thank you. Like and subscribe and we will see you real soon. Bye now.